Samsung recently came out with a new low-end smartphone that aims to rival other entry-level smartphones. After releasing a couple devices such as the Galaxy Young, Galaxy V and V+, Samsung apparently doesn't stop at releasing your products quite frequently. And this time, it is pretty much one of the cheapest AMOLED smartphones. Being a successor to the Galaxy J1, this is the Samsung Galaxy J1 Ace. Judging from its appearance, there's nothing really special about this smartphone. It looks almost identical to the original J1, which is the round-shaped Samsung signature design. The difference is the strange-looking grip design that is very noticeable on its corners. Besides, the square-shaped camera windows has been replaced with a round one, making the design even funnier, even making it a bit cheap-looking at the same time. The main difference lies at the screen, where the J1 packs a traditional LCD while afterwards, J1 Ace comes with an AMOLED capacitive display that looks good from every angle. Honestly, the screen is a primary selling point for this budget device. After all, you may reconsider your choice by knowing it's only 4.3 inches big and low in resolution. Speaking about the performance of the smartphone, there is not much to say either. With three different RAM capacities as 512 and 768MB and 1GB in size, plus the absence of a proper GPU, playing games on this phone is no pleasant experience at all. Surprisingly, Crossy Road is not even loading. Otherwise, I really appreciate how Samsung managed to make the TouchWiz UI really smooth on the smartphone, though so perhaps the Quad Core 1.2 or 1.3GHz CPU helps a lot to sustain a solid experience in the system. There's also nothing special about it, the cameras either, which is a 5 megapixel unit on the back and 2 megapixel unit on the front. According to personal experience, the Galaxy J1 is not too bad of a basic smartphone to accompany you through the daily life. With the addition of 4G LTE radio, surfing on the J1 Ace is definitely a step up from the original J1. One thing that was unsettling to me is that the smartphone still runs on KitKat while Android Lollipop is already on almost any other budget devices such as Android One phones. The battery may be really modest for its class, but at least there's no heat issues. This smartphone is definitely not the best in its class and may be one of the least favorable choices. To me, the only real selling point of this phone is the AMOLED screen, and in my opinion, there are better phones with better specs at the same price range such as the Lenovo A6000, Xiaomi Redmi 2 Prime, or the LG Magna. So that's pretty much sums up my opinion on the Galaxy J1 Ace. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.